The first thing you want to do is double check that your camera settings are correct. So swipe down from the top of the screen and swipe across to the cog icon, which is the camera settings. Go down to image settings and video encoding should be set to H.265, bit rate should be set to high and video sharpness I would set to medium. In this test you'll see that low in my opinion makes the video image look too soft. Medium gives you a good compromise between too sharp and digital and too soft and out of focus. This is a little bit subjective and some would argue that the low setting does make your shots look more natural especially when you're on a wide shot. But I personally prefer the slightly sharper looking medium setting. For resolution you ideally want to shoot in 8K and the frame rate will be determined either by the country you're filming in or what you're using the footage for. To shoot in 8K and get the best images you ideally want to shoot in sunny weather. And I'm not saying that you can only shoot in sunny weather with this camera but if you want the best images possible sunny weather helps a lot. It's the same as if I turn the lights off in this studio the lighting just wouldn't be as good. But before you shoot remove these lens guards. They are great for protecting your lenses while you're attaching your camera to a mount or a selfie stick but when you're ready to film take them off. They will affect image quality especially if you're shooting in bright sunlight and if you're moving around the entire 360 image and crossing the stitch line. And remember to keep your lens guards and your lenses clean. Any smudges, marks or dust can affect image quality. If you want to shoot in auto settings rather than manual which most people do then using exposure compensation or EV in the menu is a great feature to help you get the best from using auto. EV will change the base auto setting making it either darker or brighter than usual. So on a cloudy day or even a blue sky day with clouds if you set the EV to minus 0.3 or minus 0.5 then this will add more detail to the clouds giving the whole image a more even and nicer look. How you set the exposure compensation will be situation dependent but it's a great tool to have but remember when you use it always reset your EV back to zero for the ready for the next time you want to film. But in an ideal world even though it's not always practical you want to try and use the manual settings to set your exposure. So firstly you want to get the ISO down as low as possible and this will reduce any noise and grain in your images. And outside you should be able to get this down to 100. You can then adjust the shutter speed to set your exposure correctly. Manual exposure is also really useful in situations where exposure changes from under the trees for example going out into the open or from under a bridge and then coming out the other side. In auto exposure you'd get a sudden change in exposure which can be quite jarring to the viewer and look amateurish. In manual mode you can find an exposure setting that is a good compromise and accounts for both the dark and the brighter exposure which will make your shot flow more smoothly to the eye. In terms of picture profile the standard profile will give you the most natural looking colour in your images without the need for grading. But of course image settings are only one aspect of the X4 and to find out more tips to get the best from your camera you'll want to watch this video next and I'll see you over there.